Hello everyone, this is me Ryan. Some of you know me as John Doe, right here in Japan. Now, we've heard a lot about exactly why uh, Shinzo Abe and his current, what they call nationalist government, is so pro-nuclear. We've talked about vile viciousness, stupidity, uh, all these other things, but let's really look at what exactly is going on currently here. Now, as part of um, what the Prime Minister is calling Abenomics, one of the ways he seeks to um, spur the economy is through exporting uh, infrastructural technology. Uh, he's doing that through the Shinkansen, which is the very unique and highly innovative uh, Japanese bullet train system. And he's trying to export that to several countries, working out deals, these type of things. Uh, the other type of infrastructure he's really big on trying to export is, of course, nuclear technology. Uh, he's cutting deals with Saudi Arabia, Turkey, India, and several others right now. But let's look at exactly why he's doing this, okay? So number one, he's only looking at to expand the market. And that's what capitalism does. It must always expand. It must always grow. If it doesn't, it ends up having to eat itself. This is what Japan's been doing for quite some time. The market's been um, kind of folding in on itself and eating itself to survive, and that's becoming unsustainable, which eventually it always does. So he's looking at what he's got. He's got, I got infrastructure technology. Well, if I can export that, it'll help grow the market. What he's not considering is exactly what he's exporting. Okay, yeah, you have the technological know-how to, uh, to build uh, and produce uh, nuclear power and nuclear technology. But there's other factors here that are he's not one to look at. The operational know-how, the what they so-called safety know-how, uh, managerial uh, know-how, and business models. Those will be exported too. Because these countries he's trying to export this stuff to, they have no background or knowledge about nuclear uh, technology. So when he brings that to them, these countries are going to end up with the same exact problem that Japan has with the business model aspect of it going from money at all costs, cutting corners left and right, uh, undercutting labor, and not even paying attention to safety, not even willing to look at it, right? And Japan's way of operating nuclear power plants is very loose, not tight, uh, security is extremely low, you know, they don't even bother, right? Um, and those things will be exported. So these countries are going up with the exact same problems that Japan has. The, the, the horrible disaster of Fukushima, uh, many other building uh, power plant, nuclear power plants on fault lines and dangerous geogra geographical locations just because it's convenient for that area to get power. Without looking at it, it's actually dangerous to build it there. Right? Uh, other problems, um, even now, we're still having issues. All right, uh, the Manju reactor, which you know is a MOX uh, sodium cooled reactor, I believe. The Japan um, Nuclear Regulatory Agency basically suspended all efforts to restart that plant due to over uh, back in November, ten thousand devices come to find out inside the plant were not being inspected inspected at all. Right, and that plant that plant's been a problem for a while. All right, uh, recently, in, uh, I believe in Tokai region. We had a research facility that had a leak, right? And it was in, in uh, 33, our researchers were exposed to internal radiation exposure. Now, they're calling that a level one incident, but internal radiation exposure is no joke. You're right on top of it. You're inundated. It goes through you, okay? So that's some pretty dangerous things. And what the researchers did, <laughs> instead of containing the radiation inside the building, they opened up the vents and vented it out <laughs> and right into the atmosphere. That's their idea of safety. So these countries are going to be getting that, that type of so-called know-how, right? But Abe's not looking at that. He refuses to acknowledge that because he's so desperate to expand the capitalist market that he's willing to overlook so much material conditions surrounding this technology that it's absolutely precarious the way he's going about it. And he's not telling these countries the truth. 
Uh, these countries don't want to look at the truth because they're so desperate to get this technology for obviously two reasons. Number one, they'll get the energy aspect of it. Number two, uh, they'll get political, geopolitical protection because you all know you got nuclear power plants or nuclear weapons in your country. Nobody wants to attack you or go to war with you because it could end up being disastrous. You know, so that's what he's playing off these other countries. So that's the real reason. All right, it's a desperate attempt to expand capital markets. Uh, countries who are desperate for this technology for several reasons, which I just pointed out, and the very nature of capitalism. It must always expand, or it will collapse on itself, eat itself alive, and eventually crumble. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please uh, leave a comment comment box below. Let's get a discussion going as always. You're more than welcome to leave a video response if you want, which you could leave like um, some type of informative thing that you, you want to do, or you want to actually make a video like I'm doing, okay? Spread these vids around. As always, until next time, this is me, Ryan, checking out.